Hey guys, so Physicians Formula launched some new products in the last year and it took me a while to get my hands on them, but I now have them. We have several new bronzers, we've got a new foundation, we have a couple of new setting sprays, we have a highlighter and an eyeliner. So if you guys would like to see these in action and hear my thoughts of these new Physicians Formula launches, then just keep watching. First off, they came out with this one. Now, the Healthy Foundation was one of my favorite drugstore foundations and they discontinued it, which made me very sad, but I'm hearing great things about this one. For reference, I have combination skin. I get oily in my T-zone. This is the Butter Believe it Foundation and Concealer for all skin types, and it looks like it's already kind of breaking apart in the bottle, so this probably needs to be shaken. It says, Ultra luxurious foundation and concealer infused with a powerful blend of Muru Muru Butter, Kapuku Butter, and Takuma Butter from the lush, nutrient-rich Amazon. Incredibly creamy texture melts into the skin, leaving a natural, radiant, glowing complexion. Long-wearing, weightless formula provides a buildable medium to full coverage and directions. Shake bottle before each use. Now I have Fair Delight and I have Fair. I have a feeling I'm going to be fair. I feel like my summer color is completely gone, so we'll start off with this. I love the color of the packaging. It's the color of my phone case. It's the color of my fan that I use up here. It's the color of the shirt that I have on. It's the color of a lot of things that I have. I have a winter coat that's this color. I really love teal and mint. So the packaging alone, I think is really, really satisfying. Has a pump and a glass bottle. All right, so we have Fair and we have Fair Light. I have a feeling this one's gonna oxidize. I think I'm gonna go with the lighter one. Oh, these are scented. They do smell like their butter bronzer collection. A little bit coconutty, a little bit tropical. Now, normally I would apply half with a brush, half with a sponge, but I have a sponge. I have my Tati Beauty Blendiful and I have a brush. So we'll try to do all three. I'm just gonna do like a little dot for now. I'll ignore my hideous hair here. That's looking very, very pale. Hopefully we can bronze it. That's one very light layer on this side with a brush. It does smooth on very easily. This is two layers in this quadrant with a brush. I feel like this looks more like a tinted moisturizer than a foundation and it feels kind of sticky so I feel like this might be better for dry skin types it says it's for all skin types but just first impressions I feel like this is a super hydrating super slippy type of product so I'm going to try one more light layer over here with a brush see if we can even come close to a medium coverage I mean, it clearly is covering. You can see the redness on the rest of my face versus right here. So this is three light layers. I feel like it is already looking heavy in certain places, but it does have a nice like radiance to it. Again, I'm just pumping out like this tiniest amount. But I feel like I got better coverage with this than I did with the brush, which is unusual. Usually the brush gives me the best coverage. So let's try one more layer. This video is going to be a million years long if I can't get this done quickly. Okay, that's two layers on the forehead. It does look nice and radiant, but like I said, I have combination skin. I feel like I'm gonna have to powder this because it's staying very tacky. As expected, it soaked most of it up. Second little pump.
It's definitely the sheerest way to apply this foundation, but again, I've done pretty much three little mini pumps here, I did two here, so we're going with our third now. And it is a little bit on the pale side, but we can fix that. Okay, so let me give you a close up here. This was three layers with a brush, about two layers with a like beauty puff, and three layers with a damp beauty sponge. All in all, I think they look pretty much the same. They've all kind of settled into my skin the exact same way. I feel like I've gotten about the same coverage with all of them, maybe slightly higher coverage with the puff, but I feel like these two are almost identical, which is unusual because usually the sponge will shear things out and give you slightly less coverage. But I think they all look fine. So, so far so good. So let me hop off, add some concealer powder, and we'll be back to try the plethora of bronzers. See you in a second. Okay guys, I went ahead and applied a little bit of the CoverGirl Outlast Extreme concealer and a little bit of Thrive Cosmetics powder. Now there are two setting sprays and I'm not going to lie. I did spray them as soon as I got them to see what they smell like. And I have to say this one smells horrible. Now I'm going to try it again today on my arm because if it smells like what it did when I first tried it, I'm not putting this on my face. This is the Essence of Healthy Toner and Setting Spray. It's a brightening complex. I don't know. Um, powerful treatment formulated with 95% galactomyces ferment filtrate to visibly brighten, hydrate, and soften the skin. So that means it would have to be sprayed first for those benefits. Packed with vitamins, antioxidants, blah, 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 enhanced skin's radiance. Multi-action and multifunctional treatment can be used as a toner or setting spray. It says shake well, close eyes and mouth, and hold 8 to 10 inches away and mist the face in an X and a T. Now perhaps I didn't shake it the first time. So let's check out the mister together. Are you ready? Maybe I just didn't shake it the first time. Let me see. Mmm. Mm -mm. Guys, it smells like a diaper pail trash can. I have a one and a half year old. I know what this smells like. I've had like 12 kids in our home. Most of them have been in diapers at some point. It smells like a diaper trash can like pee and poo sitting for a while. It doesn't smell good. So I will not be using this one. I'm sorry, Physicians Formula. I don't know what happened with this one, but I I can't. The other one we have to try is the Butter Believe It Skin Mist Moo Moo Butter Setting Spray. An ultra luxurious a micro fine mist setting spray infused with Moo Moo Kapuku, all those butters, to deliver a radiant flawless airbrushed finish packed with essential fatty acids, incredibly weightless, to effortlessly, effortlessly set and refresh makeup for all day wear. Shake well, close mouth. Let's set for a few seconds before touching face. The mist on this one, again, very fine. And this one smells more like their butter line, which I would expect. So let's give it a mist. I'll use my trusty fan to speed up the process. it added much radiance to the face. I still feel like my makeup looks pretty much the same. It says wait a couple minutes to touch the face. Okay, it's definitely dry. Didn't leave it sticky feeling. So I like that one of the two. That's definitely the one that I would recommend over the other one that smells oh, so bad. I can't, I can't even. Next we have a bunch of bronzers. I don't even know if I can hold them all. All of these, now I have previously tried the Matte Minoy Butter Bronzer and it was a little too orange for me, so I'm gonna leave that one out of this video. I tried that in one of the Physicians Formula palettes not too long ago, but these four intrigue me. I especially am interested in this one that has the blush in the center. So we'll leave that one till last, but we have the Butter Donut, the Butter Coffee, and the Butter Cake, and then the one with the blush is Butter Cookie. So let's open them all up, give them a sniff, We'll start there. Now all of these say that they are limited edition delicious dessert inspired bronzers. Some of them say bronzer and blush. It's creamy soft texture. Combines the best features of a powder and a cream to deliver lip foam within glow unlike any other. So let's try them out. The first one is this one right here. 
It is Butter Coffee in the shade Latte. Ooh, that definitely smells like coffee. Oh, okay, interesting. And it's meant to look like the like kind of frothy thing that they do on the top of fancy coffees, which I don't drink coffee, so I don't know, but it comes with their standard little brush and a mirror. Hmm, okay, I am sad to mess this one up, but I'm gonna go in the center and on the outside and try both shades of this one. So we have the cream and the coffee right here. And then if we swirl them together, I'm so sorry, we get that. Ooh, those are very pretty. So we have the cream shade, the coffee shade, and then swirled together. And these look like they do have a bit of a sheen. It looks like the creamy part has the sheen. So swirled together, you're gonna get like a light sheeny bronze. And it doesn't smell like coffee on the hands, which is nice. Next we have butter donut, which looks like this. Has little sprinkles. This one's in the shade Sprinkles. It smells kind of like cake. I wouldn't say donut, but I don't eat a whole lot of donuts either. Now this one has pink and green little frosting and then the bronzer in the center. So let me see if I can get a little bit of the, uh... oh, they're just a top, they're just a top color. They're just wiping off as soon as I touch them. All right, so the green and pink are probably not gonna show up. Let's try the center color here. Okay, it's a little bit peachier than the other ones. So here's the first one, which was butter coffee. This is butter donut. Now let me swirl the shades together. And like I said, they just disappear as soon as you swirl them. Just makes it a slightly lighter shade. So the green and pink, which is only a, like an overspray, just makes it ever so slightly lighter of a bronzer. Next, we have Butter Cake, which looks like this. It's got the four layers. It reminds me of like the Undone Beauty bronzer. I feel like this one and the uh, Donate one kind of smell the same. It's like a slight cakey scent, like a slight vanilla scent. Again, they all come with the mirror and the brush. Now this has four different shades. It looks like they're all sheeny, but this one's gonna be more of like a highlight shade. Okay, so first we have the light shade right here is like a champagne shimmer and we have like a nice light golden brown another brown and another brown that all pretty much look the same to me but then if i swirl them all together we get a lighter shimmery brown okay so i think this is kind of like all the same color plus a highlight and then last we have butter cookie which looks like this and it has a blush in the center. This smells like a shortbread cookie. Okay, I like that. So there's only two shades to swatch here. So we've got the beautiful blush in the center and then we have the bronzer on the outside. Beautiful pinky gold blush and bronzer. I definitely wanna start with that blush. That's pretty, it definitely has like a gold sheen to it. That's pretty. I didn't show you what it looks like swirled together. Let's see, blush and bronzer here. Blush and bronzer, ready, set, go. Gives you like a pinky bronze, which is quite pretty. I do have a Guerlain bronzer that I think that has like a blush center and some blush like sections and it is really pretty. But I don't think that's the one I want to try. I think that I want to try this butter coffee one as my bronzer today. Up here, I just feel like these are going to be the most flattering shades for my skin tone, although none of these are dark. I just feel like the butter cake one is a little too shimmery. This one, I just, I don't know. <laughs> but this is the one that's calling to me, so this is the one I want to try. It looks very shimmery from here. It's like a gold shimmer. I don't like that. All right, let's try a different one. Let's try the butter donut. That one's a little bit better. It's not quite so gold and shiny. As you can see though, all the sprinkle color is pretty much gone where my brush has hit the pan. 
These are a little dustier than the typical butter bronzers. Like it's really flaking a lot and dusting. So you can see on this side, it has like a lot more shine to it than the donut one has. I'm gonna try to cover that up a little bit. And I feel like these are all pretty much warm bronzers. I had hopes that this one would not be quite as warm, but I feel like these are all the standard butter bronzer shade. They're not the light, they're not the contouring one. So just keep that in mind. I think I am gonna go in and swirl a little bit of this just near the cheekbones and see what it looks like, because I do like like a pinky bronzer. Okay, so I think I like this one the best. I will have to try this one another day, but let's move on because I've already been at this for an hour now. So next up we have the Mineral Wear Diamond Dust. I guess this is a highlight. The high impact iridescent all over face powder designed to leave the skin tones looking radiantly glowing. Innovative powder and serum hybrid nourishes and minimizes the appearance of pores and fine lines while melting into the skin to deliver a dewy glass skin multi-dimensional finish. This looks like straight up chunky pink glitter to me, but I've been wrong before. The packaging is really pretty. It's like a geode crystal type of thing. And then inside as well, it reminds me of some of the Becca geode highlights. All right, now I'm just gonna swirl my finger and it feels like a dry highlight. And it looks like a chunky pink glitter situation. I don't know guys, can you see that? It's like a pink gold shifting We'll see, I, I don't know. This looks very glittery to me, but other people have really, really loved this. Let's try tapping it onto the high points of the cheek. That's glitter, guys. That is straight up pink glitter. Why were people loving this? This is like straight up glitter. Um, I don't think so. Guys, it's chunks of glitter on my face. Can you see that? It's not even a sheen, it's, it's glitter. Okay, that one's gonna be a pass for me. It might work as an eyeshadow, but not as a highlight. Only product we have left to try is this liner. I'm gonna line it quickly. It says it's long lasting, water resistant, smooth glide tip in matte black. Just line the eyes, apply some mascara, and I'll be back to give you my final thoughts. Doesn't have a scent, which I appreciate. Inky black color, so let's do this. That was very easy, very simple. I like that it's gonna dry matte, so, so far so good. All right, so liner is on. It was very easy to use. It dries a little bit fast. You just have to work quickly, but I think because it's a matte product, it dries down fairly quickly. So let's go over what I think of these products. So far, the Butter Believe It foundation, I feel like it looks really nice. I did have to powder, but I like the way that it looks. I like the way that it's setting on my face. It didn't enlarge pores, nothing like that. So I'm gonna continue to use this one. Keep you guys posted, but first impressions, this is a nice foundation. Setting sprays, we have one win and one no way, I'm sorry. My arm is gonna smell like diaper for the rest of the day. Oh, no thank you. So a pass on this one, but I think this one is nice. I sprayed it, it did dry down. It didn't stay sticky, it didn't stay tacky, doesn't have any type of scent on the face. I like this one. The Matte Minoy Butter Bronzer, I wasn't a big fan of because it was just a little bit too warm last time I tried it. So the four new limited edition dessert inspired bronzers. I like the one with the blush. I think that's nice. It gives you a nice kind of pinky, brown glow to the skin, which I appreciate. This one I feel like would be better for summer because it is more on the shimmery side with this white shimmer strip in it. This might also make a beautiful shadow for like on the go. So you've got a bunch of colors in there, which might be nice. The butter coffee one was a little too shimmery for me. Like it was really gold and shimmery here. 
So use sparingly if you're using it as a bronzer, as like a highlight or finishing powder, it might be nice. And then Butter Donut is the one I ended up using mostly on my cheekbones and the perimeter of my face. Still a little bit warmer than I prefer, but if you have a deeper skin tone or it's the summer, you might be able to get away with it. But they are fun, limited edition things. The only thing that stinks is that your sprinkles are gone after your first use. The Diamond Dust is glitter, guys. I don't know who's saying it isn't, but it is micro particles of glitter. And you can see them on the cheekbones, like there's glitter everywhere. So I'm gonna say pass on this for a highlight. And finally, we have the liner, which I really like. It does dry down matte. It was very easy to use. So I would say we had some hits and some misses in here. Let me know what you've tried from the Physician's Formula new product lines. Let me know what you've been loving down below. Let me know if you agree with me. If you've tried this product, do you think it also smells a little bit like a eau de diaper? I don't know. You let me know, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing some swatches, try on and hearing my first thoughts of these new products from Physicians Formula. If you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.